Hey guys, it's Heather from Calva Plan, and today I'm planning for the week of October 23rd through the 29th. And even though this is not Halloween week, I'm gonna go ahead and decorate for Halloween just because we have a trunk or treat this weekend and some fun Halloween activities, and we have tons of Halloween stickers, so why not do it twice? Um, so I'm actually gonna be using Halloween stickers from our seasonal stickers book. This book technically coordinates with our seasonal planner for 2024. So if you're looking for a seasonal planner, this one is super cute. And these Halloween stickers technically coordinate with next October. So you could save these stickers for next October if you wanted to. I'm gonna go ahead and use them now and I'll probably use them next October too. So I am going to flip open and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this long sticker over here in the sidebar. And this can be like things that we need to do this week, but we don't necessarily know exactly when we're gonna do them yet. And then Saturday, we have a trunk or treat at our um, neighborhood clubhouse. So I took our Alpha Basics sticker book. Let's actually pull these up so we don't get them stuck. And I colored in some of the stickers. So this is Alpha Basics. And I went to this page and I colored in the letters that I needed to spell out truck or treat. And then I'm gonna place those. in the different, in the, on the Saturday. And then I'm gonna put this down here. I might've put too much of the stickers on this ruler, but we're just gonna it's like too much of the sticker on the ruler. You wanna put just a little bit and I put like the whole sticker so now they're not wanting to come up. Okay. Trunk or treat. And then I'm gonna grab this little candy bucket and I'm gonna put it right there like so okay and then let's see we're gonna put one box sticker up here with a little purple one like so and then we're gonna put the one with the black cat over here and gotta put this right here then this I love this we have this pumpkin on both spots over here so I just want to bring that into this side of the page as well and then Let's see, let's add an orange checklist right here. Then I'm gonna go to the decorative elements. And let's put some candy. So I'm gonna put some candy right here, but then I'm kind of holding this up a little bit. And this is like a little knife. Um, this was a product sample I ordered, but I didn't like exactly how it turned out. So we're gonna have something similar like this in our shop later this year, but it's a little bit different from the one I'm using in this video. So put some candy right there. Um, and then I think I'm gonna put this little witch's bucket with the candy next to it 
and then we can put like some candy corn over here. Okay, and then on this side, let's flip back and let's put this green one right here. And then we're gonna put this purple box kind of coming out a little bit like this. And this is where we can put the time for the trunk or treat. And then up here on Sunday, I'm gonna put, these can be the errands that I need to run on Sunday afternoon. Gotta love those Sunday errands, right? Um, and then let's see, maybe we could put some more candy, like over here, but I'm going to take this and trim it just a little bit, kind of put it up against checklist like that and I'm gonna put a little orange box mm. I think I'm actually gonna do a green one kind of like this and then we can put the orange dots beneath it, kind of like that. And then let's put some black dots over here. And then we're going to put some purple dots over here and then because we have dots on this side let's try and put some over here too so over here I'm gonna put some purple dots where I can go one two three then we're gonna go one two, three, one, two. Okay, so now that we've added a few more of the functional things, I am going to add in A little more of the candy so like if we put this here and I want to take this little knife and cut that and then peel this off candy corn like this um, I'll take these little candies put them up there and then maybe put a few more like up in this little gap that we have up here. All right, that's looking pretty cute. And then I wonder if it would be way too big to spell out. So if we have these three colors, if we spelt out T 
H I S W E Okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my clear ruler so I can show you guys how I did the trunk or treat. And I go T H. these kind of close together. I S and then lay those down like this and then hold it and pull it down. So we got this and then we're going to spell out week. So we got W E E and you know what my K should have been orange so I'm gonna go to my next page sometimes I just color I get lost in the pattern so color it orange this week and then we just kind of tie that in like to another spot of course it makes me feel like I need those letters on this side too so let's see where can I put maybe if we take this one and put it right here and then we could spell T O D O And then we could take, and we go T, O, put it as close together as we can, and then put a space, D, O. No, that's not where I want it. And then lay it right here. And then we at least have those same letters on the other side of the page. And it just kind of helps tie it all together. All right. I think that turned out pretty cute for the week leading up to Halloween. Um, and then I can just take my planner and put it back on the discs. We do have a release this Friday. Um, and usually I like to show the stickers in my spread that are releasing on Friday. But this week it's dated basic, so it wasn't really something that like would work for this spread, but I will be showing that. So um, come back Tuesday for that flip through. If you like this video, I hope you hit the like button. If you wanna see more of my videos, hit the subscribe button and happy planning.